Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one empress, and I'm here to do the new moon reading for my Gemini's. Hey, my air sign, my gods and goddesses. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <clears throat> I do appreciate you guys, you know, being patient with me, not uploading as much. I'm in the middle of moving, and I do appreciate it greatly for you guys' patience, okay? Um, if you can like, subscribe, comment, and share, hit the bell on the side for all of the updated videos when I post them, to get them when I post them. If you're like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out, please. Thank you. Let's get into the reading. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own so that I can give my Gemini's the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Now let's see what's on and popping <laughs> with my Gemini's and they situation. All right, so Gemini's, you got some uh, secrets that's coming out that probably came out already. I'm hearing past. So it's like some secrets that came out dealing with this person that you, you know, really do care about and love. And it's like, you know, this person is not really caring about you figuring, hearing about this. And they making it, they turning it around and making it all about them. Okay? It's, they making it all about them and not your hurt. But they telling you, like, they love you and they want to, you know, make this work out. But you like over this situation because it's like real toxic and you like ready to move forward and, you know, like do something different, like money wise. You like it's some type of you get sad or some type of addiction that's getting in the way of this situation. And it's like not on your level. So it's making you want to um, be single. It's making you want to pack up and go. It's want, making you want to take the bad with the good and just, you know, call it a loss. Because it's like you're ready to, you feel like that you planted a lot of seeds with this situation. And it should be um, greater than this. It's like you should be more happier than this. And it feels like um, your person that you're dealing with could be a bit controlling in some areas and it's really stressing you out and you need to you know get away for a minute to get your mind right before you go mentally insane dealing with this person who is um taking that time giving you this little immature love that you can give yourself you just really over this situation you know right now you're feeling like that you just need to, you know, start listening more to your intuition and praying a little bit more about your situations. Because you understanding that you're dealing with somebody who um, is a bit insecure and don't have enough, you know, like confidence within themselves. But it's like um, you want to work it out. You know, you want to stick this out and work it out, come up with some type of plan. But right now you're just going back and forth, back and forth. And I'm seeing 11, 11. Okay. So it's like an outcome and advice for this situation is for you. Um, it's like some, some fresh new love is coming in. So it's like you have to get away from a situation in order to attract your true happiness. Okay, your stability, your love, your, you know, your, your praying and affirmations is going to bring this more closer to you. Okay. 
all right? Uh, bottom of the deck, try something new, jump out on them, trust God, so spirit, jump out on faith, do something that you're scared to do, it's time to do it. By closing out an old cycle, getting away from a situation, you know, for the time being, so that you can attract your the stability. Stop procrastinating and waiting for somebody to, you know, get it right. And, you know, just sit back and watch. You know, be in the spirit of having faith. Take the little bit of energy that you got so that you can be happy. You know what I'm saying? Be the social butterfly. Cut out anything that no longer serves you and, you know, move towards your happiness. Okay? Be alone, okay? Think. All right, so Gemini's, I'm gonna give you an oracle card. You have listening to your intuition, renewal, Archangel um, Jeremiah, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Thank you, Spirit. You see that? Renewal. It's time to refresh yourself. It's time for you to listen to your intuition. It's time for you to, you know, um, evaluate your situation closely so that you can make the right choice moving forward. Okay? Because it's time for you to move. It's time for you to get it. It's time for you to go on that journey. It's time for you to, you know, jump out there and know the forces got your back. Having faith. Three of Ariel, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career and artistic endures. Working with others in a, cooper in a corporation, damn. Okay, working with others in a co cooperative manner. It's been a long day, Ugh. can't even talk. <laughs> All right, so y'all understand that? Do what you love. Use your artistic flair. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to get out there. It's time for you to be professional. You know, working with a team, being open. Okay? Queen of Gabrielle. Patient, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now, Gemini's. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. It's a lot about, you know, you got people out here. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, um, a lot of knowing that you are not alone. You know, reach out and reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> reach out and, um, you know, at your different resources that you have. Stop being so secluded. And understand that you don't have to go through this alone. It's saying it in both cards. Like, you got people who want to help you, who will assist you. But you just have to reach out and talk. And, you know, figure that out. You have cleansing body and spirit. Taking a long bubble bath. I love this. Taking a long bubble bath. You know, walking in nature, going to sit by a stream or a pond, just some alone time so that you can replenish your body, your mind, and your soul, okay? So that you can think, so that you can make the right choice for yourself. Get you some candles, a nice bubble bath with extra bubbles. Get you a glass of wine on the side and start to manifest different things, you know, in your alone time. It's right there. It's going to refresh you and you're going to feel so much better. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. One love, Oracle, for my Geminis. One codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This is the second time this came up. Focus on the addiction. You guys know what you're dealing with. Focus on the addiction. Help your other person to, you know, stand in their power and, and address it and whatever it is. It's time to target that addiction, the codependency, whatever you feel like that you need to lean on to get you through. Because you don't need no one. You need you. You need God's source spirit. You need the powerful energies of, of the universe, you know, so that it, to help you. You need you. 
Let go of the codependency. You can do it. You strong, you're ambitious, you're outgoing, you're loving, you're um, intuitive, you um, are, are great social people, you know? You, you got this. You don't need to lean on something. You got this. Pray about things. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself from the codependency that you've been leaning on for so long. And it's time to, you know, let it go. Stand alone. You got this. You have to know it. You got this. You've been through so much to where you built a, a, a tough exterior. You, you, you built character. You built happiness. You built to do this, to start fresh and new and give yourself a true chance to be happy. Okay, so Gemini's, this was a deep reading. Um, good luck with everything. Stay loving and kind. And um, whew, take a deep breath throughout your days and know that you can do it. Get some time alone somewhere so that you can refresh your body, your mind, and your soul so you can make better choices moving forward. Okay. I love you guys, and until next time, and I just saw 11-11, so new beginnings going through this new way of doing things, thinking, people, places, and things, okay? You deserve it. You deserve it, all right? Um, I love you once again, and until next time, be safe, and peace out.